Welcome everybody out there, Klaus Hessler my name and uh, welcome to a series of educational clips which is called Beyond the Page and uh, this time we're talking about Stick Control, uh, a famous book written by George Lawrence Stone and uh, we'll be talking about some uh, say different strategies on uh, how to practice and how to perform page 5 of Stick Control. Now page 5 is most likely that one page every drummer is going through I'm not sure about page six or page seven, but um, what I'll be showing you in, uh, in this little clip is a strategy of uh, how to really maintain and, uh, and continue the strategy of uh, staying with a certain stick height, be it low, half or full strokes, and really making sure that you're not actually playing down strokes, which sometimes happens if you, uh, uh, if you look at both hands at the same time. So before we start, make sure you have a mirror ready because that mirror is really such a, such a valuable tool because if you manage to teach that guy in the mirror, you win. Plus you save a lot of money. So first let's look at uh, exercise uh, number five, which is a paradiddle sticking. It's actually not really a paradiddle because the accent is missing, by the way. A paradiddle would be if you had the accent with it, That's a paradiddle. If we reduce it to just the sticking, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, it's only the sticking of a paradiddle because that one important thing, the accent, is missing, by the way. And uh, I'll be playing one course of the exercise with both hands and then um, I'll isolate the right hand and then play both hands again and then I'll isolate the left hand, making sure that both of them really get back to the starting position, okay? So here it is. One and a two and a one and a two and a What you notice is both of my hands, both of my sticks actually, sorry, would jump back and fly back into that full stroke position after each stroke, which I think is pretty important to make sure that you're not playing something like that, which was not what Stone was intended. Okay, so far with exercise number five. So here's the same thing again, page five, street control, this time with exercise number 17, again at 50 beats per minute. One and a two and a so forth. <laughs> Just focusing on one hand will make it much easier for you to really follow the proper order of only full strokes or only low strokes or only half strokes or whatever your choice is at that time. So I think it's pretty obvious how that works with the other exercises. Um, at times if you continue to page six you might take some more time out to really memorize what the part of the isolated hand really is. So that also helps your rhythmic understanding. Uh, and this way it's say a little less boring <laughs> as if you only play eighth notes all the way through but uh, really isolating the parts of each hand which sometimes makes a relatively complex uh, pattern is uh, another interesting uh, thing that you see and another interesting option that you get out of uh, this classic book stick control okay so i would highly recommend to uh, to go get this guy stick control stay tuned for more stuff coming up uh, at uh, beyond the page and I look forward to your questions, whatever they are, okay? 
uh, check out my website, klaushessler.com, connect with me through Facebook um, or Instagram, uh, whatever, and I look forward to meeting you somewhere on Planet Drum, okay? Thanks so much for watching this. Feel free to like it and share it, okay? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.